So the next thing to talk about after arithmetic sequence is arithmetic series. Hello, my name is Sir Jiggs and welcome to Jiggy Math. So what is a series? What is the difference between sequence and series? So series refers to the sum of the terms in a sequence. For example, this 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 is an example of arithmetic sequence, while 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 16 plus 20 plus 24 we're getting the sum of the terms in a sequence. This is now an example of an arithmetic series. Now, I'll tell you a story about this famous young Goss, and his name is Carl Fredericks Goss. So there was this schoolmaster who asked a group of students to add up the numbers from 1 to 500, thinking that it would keep them quiet for the rest of the day. However, Goss, who was one of those students, produced an answer in a matter of minutes. How did Goss add up the numbers from 1 to 500 in a matter of minutes? So this is how he did it. So he wrote it this way, S is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 500. And then he also wrote it in a reverse manner, wherein S is equal to 500 plus 499 plus 498 up to 1. The next thing he did was he added these two equations and then the result is s plus s is 2s and then 1 plus 500 is 501, 2 plus 499 is also 501 and then 3 plus 498 is also 501. Up to 500 plus 1 is equal to 501. So how many 501s are there all in all? How many 501s? There will be 500 times of 501s. So using, using symbols, we will come up with this equation. 2s is equal to 501 times 500. And then simplifying, since we're looking for the sum, we're looking for s. S now is 501 times 500 divided by 2. And that will give you S equals 125,250. So the sum of the numbers from 1 to 500 is 125,250. Okay, let's have this another example. And then let's use the method of Gauss to find the sum of even numbers from 2 to 100. So let's write it this way. S is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus up to 100, so letting S be the sum of these even numbers. And then just like what Gauss did, we can write it in reverse manner, 100 plus 98 plus 96 up to 2. And then let's add these two equations. So S plus S will give us 2S, and then notice that 2 plus 100, all of these uh, pairs of numbers will give us 102. So S now equals 102 plus 102 up to 102. So how many 102s are there? 50 times. So we will come up with this equation 2S is equal to 102 times 50. And then um, let's uh, simplify this. Let's make S as the subject. S is equal to 102 times 50 divided by 2. Now, Notice that 102, 102 is actually the sum of the first term and the last term. Okay? And then 50 here is the number of terms. Okay? So that will be the number of terms. So this will bring us, this will lead us to the formula in finding the sum of the numbers in a sequence. So the formula will be will be what? S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a1 plus a sub n. So a sub 1 plus a sub n, this is the sum of the first and the last terms, and the last term. And n is our number of terms and then divided by 2. Okay? Now, from 
the first lesson on arithmetic sequence, there is a formula for a sub n. So that means this formula can be written also in a different way. a sub n, we know that this a sub n is a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Right? So we can simplify, we can combine these two a sub 1s and we will have n times 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d divided by 2. So we have two formulas now in finding the sum of the terms in an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so the first one, if the first term, the last term, and the number of terms are given. In the second formula, if the number of terms is given, the first term, and the common difference. Okay, now let's answer some examples. The first one is find the sum of the first 50 terms. So letter A is 8.5 plus 10 plus 11.5. Letter B, we have negative 83x minus 77x minus 71x minus 65x up to the infinity. Okay, but we are only looking for the sum of the first 50 terms. So one thing that you need to make sure of is, is this series an arithmetic series? Okay, so how do we know how do we know that? We have to find that the difference is constant, that it's common. Alright? Now let's do that. 10 minus 8.5 will give you 1.5. And 11.5 minus 10 here is also 1.5. Therefore, the difference is common. Therefore, this is an arithmetic series. So now let's apply the formula. Since we don't have the 50th term, the last term, um, so let's use the second formula. Okay, so n is 50, right? Because 50 terms. And then a sub 1 is 8.5, our first term. And then n minus 1 is 50 minus 1, which is 49. And then the common difference is 1.5, then all over 2. So just evaluate that, find the value, and then it will give us the sum of the first 50 terms for this arithmetic series is 90.5. Okay? Now, similarly, we need also to make sure that this is an arithmetic series. So, the first term is negative 83x. The second term is negative 77x. So, what now is the common difference? Negative 77x minus negative 83x will give you 6x, correct? And let's try that for the other one just to make sure that it's really a common difference. Negative 71x minus negative 77x will give you negative 71x plus 77x, which is also 6x. Okay, so that means this is an arithmetic series. So we can now use the formula, the same thing that we did for letter A. So n is 50, and then first term is negative 83x, 50 minus 1 is 49, common difference is 6x then divided by 2. Okay, so simplify. Um, the one inside the bracket is 128x. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Just multiply the two numbers. Will give us 3,200x. So that is the sum of the first 50 terms. Now, let's proceed to ex example number 2. Find the sum of all integer multiples of 8 between 9 and 199. So the sum of all integer multiples of 8 between 9 and 199. So between 9 and 199, so the first one that is a multiple of 8 is 16, correct? And then since we're talking about multiples, so after 16, the next multiple of 8 is 24 followed by 32. And then since we are looking for something that is between 9 and 199, the last term will be 192. Now, how did I find this? What you can do is just simply divide 199 by 8, and then you will get something, uh, you will get a decimal answer. So 
uh, that's actually 24 point something. And then the 24, you multiply it by 8, and then you will get 192. Okay, so looking at this sequence, 16 is the first term, and then 192 is our last term. So since first and last are given, we can now use our first formula. All right? That's correct. But the problem here is, okay, so we have the first term, we have 192 as the last term, but we don't know the number of terms. How many terms are there in this sequence? So what we can do is to apply or to use the nth term formula. Okay, so if we do that, the a sub n is 192, a sub 1 is 16, n we don't know, and then common difference is 8. So the equation will look like this. And then solving for n, it will give us n equals 23. So that means there are 23 terms inside the sequence. Now, since we're now finding the sum, first term, sec last term is given, or the 23rd term is given, therefore we can use the first formula. So S of 23 is equal to 23 times 16 plus 192 divided by 2. Okay, simplifying that, the sum of the 23 terms from 16 to 192 is 2,392. Let's answer now the last example. The eighth term of an arithmetic progression is negative 10, and then the sum of the first 20 terms is negative 350. Find the first term and the common difference. So since we have already discussed the arithmetic sequence and arithmetic series, so there will be problems, more problems we're in, you have to use, or it's necessary for you to use the two formulas. And what are these two formulas? The nth term formula and the series formula. Okay, now for this particular example, let's identify the given information. Eighth term of an arithmetic progression is negative 10. So let's use the n term formula to come up with an equation. So a sub 8 is equal to a1 plus 7d. So a8 is negative 10. So this is now our equation. Equation in terms of a sub 1 and d. In fact, what we're looking for are the first term and the common difference. Now, let's look at the second uh, information. The sum of the first 20 terms is negative 350. So let's use the sum formula, the S sub n formula, and that is this one, all right? So S sub n is negative 350. The number of terms, or the sum of the first 20 terms, so that means n is 20, and then 2a sub 1 plus 20 minus 1 is 19d all over 2. So we have this equation in terms of a sub 1 and d. Now, there are two unknowns, there are two equations, so you know what, uh, you know, the next thing to do is to use simultaneous equations, right? Now, negative 10 equals a1 plus 7d can be expressed in this way wherein a sub 1 is the subject of the equation. And then the second one, of course, we can simplify this. 20 over 2 is 10. And then we will have uh, 10 times 2 is 20 a sub 1. 10 times 19d is 190d. So we have these two equations. Um, that means we can solve this simultaneously by substitution. Of course, you can use other method, whatever is more convenient for you, so be it, okay? You can use those, all right? Okay, now we can solve this by substitution. So uh, a sub 1, which is negative 10 minus 7d, will be substituted to this second equation, and this is how it looks like, all right? And of course, we can distribute 20 to negative 10 minus 7d, giving us negative 200 minus 140d plus 190d, Let's combine all the similar terms. Negative 140d plus 190d will give us 50d. Negative 200 trans transposed to the other side will be negative 150. Solving this equation for d will give us a negative 3. So negative 3 is our common difference. 
So plug this in in our either of the two equations. I think what's more convenient is plug in our d equals negative 3 to the first equation. Negative 10 minus 7 times negative 3 is equal to a sub 1. And then a sub 1, which is our first term, is equal to 11. So the answers are negative 3 and 11 for the common difference and the first term, respectively. All right. So um, thank you very much. Hope that you learned something about the arithmetic series. Again, please don't be confused about the sequence and the series. And of course, you need to remember these two formulas during uh, in preparation for the assessments. So once again, thank you and goodbye. Uh, the next thing, the next lesson will be about geometric sequence and geometric uh, series. See you next time.